Have you ever heard of a merit badge before? You've probably seen them or heard of them um, when people talk about the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts of America. They are these little circle patches with symbols on them and the symbols represent something that the person has earned. A merit badge is earned after someone accomplishes something or learns a new skill. For Scouts, this is usually outdoor related like pitching a tent or making a fire. What if we created merit badges for ourselves though? We hear a lot about how to practice kindness towards others, but what about kindness towards ourselves? It is just as important to train that little voice in our head to say kind things. What could you reward yourself for? It could be something silly or something simple. Everyone deserves a merit badge. Everybody has something that they deserve an award for. Let's start on our paper by drawing a few shapes. Now, most merit badges that you're gonna see are circles, um, but you do not have to do a circle. You could do a wide variety of shapes for the badges that you are creating for yourself. I started with a circle, but I'm gonna do a lot of different shaped ones as well. You decide, I want you to do at least five different shapes on your paper, okay? At least five, because I know that you can think of five great things that you deserve an award for. But if you want to do more shapes than just five, go for it. Now, when you start to design and color your badges, you need to be thinking about what do I deserve a merit badge for? What are you good at? What's something that you've accomplished recently? It could be something very small. I can already think of one that all of my students deserve, an amazing artist badge. You guys are so talented and show up every week and make beautiful things. So you can decide to have words on your merit badge, but you don't have to. Lots of merit badges don't have words on them at all. They just have a symbol that represents the accomplishment. So for this badge, I did a little paint easel and a paintbrush to represent amazing artist. On my next badge, I decided that I deserved an award for having a green thumb. I worked really hard in my garden this year and made sure that all of my house plants were also surviving and thriving. So I made a little badge with a plant on it that says green thumb. Now, remember that your badges are going to be different than mine because you have different skills, different accomplishments. Your merit badge could even be something that seems a little silly. It doesn't have to necessarily be an accomplishment. It could be something that you're really good at. Maybe you're always smiling and happy, and because of that, you always make other people happy. I made up a word here. I put cheer upper on this badge for somebody who's really great at making other people smile. What kinds of things are you good at?
What is something that you've done recently that has made you proud or just something that's kind of hard to do sometimes? It could be something really simple like I cleaned my room. I seriously think I deserve a merit badge every single time I have to clean my house. It's a big task and it takes a lot of work to finish and I'm proud of myself after I do it. So simple tasks deserve a merit badge as well. We have to remember to um, think positively about all the things that we are doing right instead of focusing on those things that might not be going so well. So any opportunity that we can take to reward ourselves and compliment ourselves is a good idea. I can't wait to see what kind of creative ideas you guys come up with for your merit badges. Maybe you can even cut them out and hang them up. You could even start to make merit badges for other people in your family. What do the people that you love in your life, what kind of awards would you give them? Maybe create some merit badges that they could use. <laughs>